Launchpad 6 are excited to announce our beta release of our new ContestPad site editor. The new site editor enables our customers to create fully customised and complete websites without any code. With the release of our new site editor, we will also be releasing a new range of templates to get you started, based on a whole bunch of themes and use cases. So let's get started on seeing how the new site editor works. You can begin by selecting the style template, or if you're feeling adventurous, you can start with a completely blank template. Let's select the pre-style template to make things easy. You will notice that the editor will open in a new tab. On the left hand side, there are two main section tabs. One tab is for the pages, and the other tab is for the global styling parameters. The Pages tab includes the current selected page, as well as a list of, of different sections within that page. To change pages, just select the page drop-down. From here, you select a different page to view and style, or you can create a brand new page. Whenever a page is selected, the parameters for that page will be displayed on the right-hand side. The sections represent the different widgets that have been added to the page. From here, you can select a widget and have its styling parameters displayed on the right hand side. The selected widget will also be brought into focus on the page and highlighted. If a widget contains subsections, such as a strip widget, you can also select this subsection, which will display the parameters on the right and it will be highlighted within the page canvas. The order of the sections can also be changed just by dragging them to the position in which you want them to appear on the page. On the right hand side there are also two main tabs. One is for the selected section or subsection parameters. These parameters are different for each widget type and control the content displayed and styling of the selected widget section. Whenever a parameter is changed the page canvas will automatically update to reflect the updated design. These changes are saved automatically by the editor. The second tab has a list of all the currently available widgets. This list will continue to grow with each release. To add a section widget to your page, you just need to select the widget you would like to add and the widget will automatically be added under the selected section on the left. It will also be highlighted in the page canvas and the parameters for the added widget will then be displayed. Above the tabs on the right, you will also have the opportunity to see what the pages look like in a tablet or mobile view. The site is automatically set to be responsive. However, further control of responsive behavior will be added in the future. Returning to the left-hand side, the Global Style tab allows you to configure multiple styling options that traverse the entire site. The Menu Settings area allows you to configure which pages appear in the header and footer menus and their order. You can also create menu items that link to external pages. Note that to change the menu labels, go to the parameters for the page and set the Name in Menu parameter. The global settings menu allows you to set the container width for all widgets at different device breakpoints. The general tab allows you to set global site parameters such as Facebook pixels, Google and tag manager codes as well as meta tags. The button section allows you to configure different styles of buttons that can be used throughout the site. These button styles can either be selected in specific widgets where a button style is asked for, or they can be added to the content editor with text. The last section is to set the different font styles that are used throughout the site. If you would like to change the font used for your style, you can select it from the active list, or you can select more fonts option and add from thousands of available fonts which can be activated and then used for your site. Above the two left tabs, you can also name your template. To publish your site, 
just select the publish button. This will publish your site and then be available to access externally. A published site is considered a major version of the site. Note that the new site editor will automatically save changes whenever you change something in the site. However, those changes will only be accessible externally once you select publish. To finish up with, it is important to note that this version is a beta release and is currently limited to competitions that allow public participants to enter or vote without having to log in. This means user login, account creation and judging is not available through the new editor. Many awards and competitions only use login for judges. So for this, we have provided a judging only portal template which can be used alongside a site created using the new site editor. This portal will only be accessible from the judging URLs and is only for use by judges during active judging rounds. This portal uses the current template editor so that you can still style if required. These limitations will be removed in a subsequent release. We also have planned a bunch of new capabilities like direct canvas editing, drag and drop, and new custom widgets to take your site to another level. This new editor will provide the most comprehensive design tool available for a competition and awards platform, and provides the ability to extend the solution well beyond competitions and awards. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to seeing your creative designs, and please do not hesitate to provide any feedback on the use of our new site editor.